Pythagoras. Draw three squares around a right angled triangle, or around the triangle. When you know how long two sides of a right angle are, to get the third side, right angle triangle, are, to get the third side, draw three squares around the triangle. They are, there's a square, there's two squares, three squares around the triangle. Right, okay, so I've made this seven centimeters long. It's to scale, it's not really seven centimeters, but you know, scaled up. Uh, this is three centimeters, this is four centimeters. Oh, 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 heck, that's three centimeters. Because it's a square, that must also be, because it's a square, that must also be five centimeters. Okay, this is one of the famous squares. That's four centimeters, so that's four centimeters. This square is four centimeters by four centimeters. This square is three centimeters by three centimeters. This square is five centimeters by five centimeters. It looks a bit like a rhombus, but you know, it's a square. The biggest square, each side is five centimeters. C, which is the letter we use for how big the side is on the biggest square, C is five. A for the smallest, so A, B, then C. A is three. A is the smallest side. Each square is three centimeters. A is three centimeters. B is four centimeters. Here we go. B is four centimeters. Okay, so the math. The three squares remind you that the area of the big square is the other two added together. Yeah, you, you can see that this is the big square. This area plus this area. Area is how long it would take to shade it in. This one would take that one plus that one to time to shade in. Or alternatively, in pizza, this square of pizza would be worth that square plus that square of pizza. That's why it's got an equals a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The area of square a plus the area of square b equals the area of square c. The big one, the small one plus the medium sized one equals the big one. a squared is a times a. 3 times 3 is 9. b squared is 4 times 4 because the size of these is 4. Um, b squared, so 9 plus 4 times 4 is 16 equals 25. 5 squared is 25. It works. The area of that one equals the area of that plus the area of that works for all right angle triangles. If it doesn't work, it's not a right angle triangle. It's Pythagoras found this out. Um, area is 4 times 4 is 16. 4 centimeters squared gives 16 centimeters squared. Centimeters times centimeters gives centimeters squared. Draw the right angle triangle on the triangle. Excellent. Well, that's there. I've done that one already. Oh, that bit doesn't need. The Science Museum in uh, England, the, the one in London, the Science Museum has these three squares made of clear plastic. The C square is full of blue liquid and A and B are empty. When the triangle is turned around, you turn a knob in the middle and this all turns around. When it's turned around, the liquid in C is emptied into A and B. Emptied to make A and B full. This proves that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So it's done with liquid to prove that it works. C squared works for all right angle triangles. Draw triangle diagrams and use Pythagoras' theorem a squared plus b squared plus c squared to solve these. There's a right angle triangle. Triangle. It has smallest side six centimeters. So the smallest side square is six times six, 36 centimeters squared. So smallest side is a, a squared, a equals six. A squared is 36. Call. The medium side is 8. B equals 8. 8 times 8 is 64. B squared equals 64. Uh, the area of the biggest square is, well, you add these two guys together. 64 plus 30, 36, 64. Uh, that's going to make 100. Around 100. Uh, biggest square, 
A R E is 100 centimeters squared. So now you know what the area of the biggest one is. Now you need to find out how long it is. So you square root 100 centimeters squared. Square root 10 times 10 equals 100. So, yay! C equals 10 centimeters. The hypotenuse, oh, hypotenuse is the biggest one. Hypot. <sighs> Hypotenuse is always C. It's always the biggest side on a triangle. The hypotenuse is 7 centimetres. One of the other sides is 5 centimetres. What's the third centimetre to do two... What's the third side to two decimal places? So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Right, OK. So 7 squared equals 5 squared. It might be the smallest one, but anyway. Plus B squared. Right, OK. Take a... All right, seven sevens are 49, five fives are 25, plus B squared. Make that a five, Gary. There we go. Right, take away 25 from both sides. So we've got B squared equals 49 minus 25 is 24. So then you need a calculator. Square root both sides. B is the square root of 24. Uh, that's going to be slightly less than five. Go! Press like, press subscribe. My name's Good Luck Gary. I'm a teacher and tutor in Hong Kong. These are my books. I'm going to put them on Amazon so you can have a go and print them off and do them as well. Um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments down there. If you live in Hong Kong and you want me to help you out at your home, I teach GCSE and IB in the schools and also I come to people's homes in the mid levels area and and in the evenings and on Saturdays. If you want my help, get your mum to send me an email to goodluckgaryhk at gmail.com. Bye!